Hey, and thanks for tuning in to Gunfire. Over here, we've got two beautiful models and we are going to be illustrating two different Atlas bipods today. Namely, the Atlas uh, V8 version and the PSR version. Now, this is my Tikai 223 uh, training rifle, which you have seen in many videos. And this is a new rifle, which you perhaps may not have seen. To give you a little bit more information, this is a new project that we just finished recently and it's a old 306 that we uh, tuned up a little bit to make it more shootable however there will be more information coming on that later for now I just want to focus on the bipods these two bipods are very similar in design the V8 version being a older version of the PSR the PSR is an updated version which has one or two extra features which I prefer over the V8 version. Now in my old video you would have heard that I said the V8 bipod is going to find a new home and what I actually meant is that it's going to a new rifle which is for this rifle. Now this is obviously a hunting type rifle and this is more of a target shooting rifle but both rifles are equally as comfortable at target shooting and hunting. So to start off with a few basic features and just to get you familiarized with an Atlas bipod if you have not really seen one before. This is its typical construction and what it's really famous for is the way it can adjust. Now you've got these side release buttons over here and you've got a, a 180 degree forward, a 45 degree forward, a 90 degree position and a reverse 45 and reverse 180 degree position. So that really gives you lots of flexibility in terms of leg positions. Another thing that uh, is quite nice about these bipods is they've got this flanged collar which you simply just pull and you can then adjust the leg height of your bipod which is quite easy and quick to adjust. Another nice little feature is that you've got this tension wheel at the bottom. Now you can lock up your whole system so you don't have any movement in the bipod if you really do desire a steady shot where your rifle can't or pan can't really be affected. The Atlas bipod is also very user friendly and it actually allows you to adapt to your different shooting terrains. And this is due to two main features and that is because it has 15 degrees of preload pan and 15 degrees of preload cant. Now panning is physically the side to side movement of your rifle. So if you have a, a moving target or an animal that is walking that you need to take a walking shot you can easily do so. It also has 15 degrees of preload cant and cant is physically the arc movement that your rifle makes. Now this is where the similarities between the V8 version and the PSR version actually ends. Now we're going to be focusing on the PSR version and looking at the upgrades that this has over the V8 version. And there are basically two main upgrades. The first upgrade being pivoting limiting bosses. Try saying that a few times. Now the function of these bosses are to remove the pivoting in the actual bipod so when you preload the rifle and preloading is simply applying pressure to the rear of your rifle through your shoulder you've got less movement where the bipod legs tend to want to move in this direction you've got quite a bit more pivoting in the V8 version than the PSR version this is quite a controversial topic because some people actually do prefer the pivoting function in the V8 version over the PSR version. And the next feature which I actually like the most about the PSR version is the fact that it has notched legs. This means that if you apply rearward pressure to the rifle, the legs cannot physically rotate um, due to being notched. And the notch sits in the inside of the legs. Having these additional features does come at an expense and there are two expenses which you need to consider. The first one being weight and the second one being cost. Now the PSR version comes in at an overall weight of 
roughly 386 grams. The V8 version comes in at a total weight of 360 grams. That is a difference between the two of 26 grams, which doesn't really seem like a lot, but if you've got a lightweight hunting rifle, you really are concerned about every gram that you're adding to the rifle or seeing that you need to carry it around. The other point of concern is the price point. Now, the V8 version, as you see over here with a quick release S lever, comes in at a total price point of $278. I'm not going to convert that, that's uh, US dollars and you can make the conversion yourself. Whereas the PSR comes in at $319. So you are paying a bit more for the PSR version. At the end of the day, it just depends what type of shooting you're going to be doing and what you like best. Now, this V8 bipod was actually situated on this rifle before and you might have seen that. And at the time that I actually wanted to buy the PSR version, it was not available because it was on back order and I needed to saturate the American market first because it was still quite new. The biggest thing that actually put me off about the V8 version was the fact that it didn't have notched legs. I actually quite like the pivoting function when you preload the rifle, so that was not of any concern. So I looked for a method to be able to have similar features of the PSR version in the V8 version. And that solution actually came by looking at the accessories that Atlas Bipods or BNT Industries offered. And that is these cleat feet which you see over here. Now these cleat feet they are very reminiscent of eagle claws if I can put it that way and these are actually situated on the V8 version. Now what this enables the bipod to do is the fact that the cleat feet have a very wide circular grip pattern. Instead of having a small little contact patch from these rubber pads you've got a much bigger circular grip area and the turning moment which is created by preloading the rifle cannot be transferred from the physical cleat feet to the bipod so you cannot have any rotation or walking of the bipod and that is simply because of two things the first being this big circular grip pattern which will not allow it to turn and if it does manage to turn this is also situated on a spherical hinge so you've got this type of movement and you've got a circular movement so the foot may be able to turn but that does not necessarily mean that your leg is going to turn so i found that to be a good alternative um, and a cheaper option to rather have the v8 version with feet like this instead of spending the extra money on the psr version i hope you enjoyed this video if you still have questions that I have not answered, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Also, go have a look at my Instagram account. It's at gunfire underscore ZA. And you'll frequently be updated there regarding projects like this or low developments or other things that I'm simply testing. I hope you guys learned something and then I will see you next time.